Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. It's time to kick off the Double Feature Socks KAL with our friends from Makers Mercantile. And we're going to start by knitting the toes of our socks. Like most sock patterns, you can knit the Double Feature Socks using your favorite style of small circumference needle, rigid DPNs, flexi flips, a long circular needle for magic loop, or two circular needles. However, throughout this series, I'll be demonstrating how to knit the socks two at a time, working on two circular needles. In this lesson, as we get started with the toe, I'll demonstrate Judy's magic cast on, how to manage your needles when knitting socks on two circular needles, and how to do both the make one right and make one left increases that are used to shape the sides of the toe. Let's get started. I have my two yarns and my two sets of circular needles ready to go so I can cast on two socks using Judy's Magic Cast On. I'll hold the knitting needles parallel to each other in my right hand so that the tips point towards the left. And then we'll cast on the first sock. I'm going to weave the yarn tail over, under, over, under the fingers on my left hand. And I don't need to leave a super long tail because I'm only casting on a few stitches. Next, we're going to position the yarn sort of in the slingshot position like we do for the long tail cast on. But I'm going to start by hooking the yarn around my right index finger to tension things. And this is so I can avoid using a slip knot to start the cast on. And then wrap the working yarn around my thumb. As we cast on, the front yarn is wrapped around the back needle. The back yarn is wrapped around the front needle. And we're wrapping front to back, or if you prefer to think of it as counterclockwise when you're looking directly down at the needle tip. And we'll start with the front yarn wrapped around the back needle. And once it's wrapped, you no longer need to have the yarn hooked around your index finger. Then the back yarn gets wrapped around the front needle. Make sure as you're casting on that your needles are close to each other and that there's no gap in between them or you will have a gap in the rounds at the tip of your toe. So we'll continue alternating the front yarn around the back needle, the back yarn around the front needle, until we've cast on all of our stitches. Since I'm going to be working two socks at the same time, I'm going to keep my needles in my right hand. I'm going to slide these stitches I just cast down just a little bit further down the needle. And then I'm going to repeat the same process with the second yarn. So I'll weave the yarn tail over, under, over, under the fingers on my left hand. Hook the yarn around my right index finger and position things in the slingshot position. And then again, alternate, starting with the front yarn and the back needle. And I can unhook my index finger and the back yarn and the front needle. And again, make sure your needle tips are close to each other. And continue alternating. When you're knitting socks on two circular needles, whether you're knitting a single sock or both socks at the same time like I am today, your sock stitches are divided. So the stitches for the bottom of the foot or the sole, and these will later be the back of the leg, are on one needle. Your stitches for the top of the foot 
and later the front of the leg are on the other needle. As you're knitting, the sole stitches will always be knit and held with this needle. Your instep stitches will always be knit and held with the other needle. To get started, I'm going to knit across my sole stitches. Before I do, I need to rotate my work. I'll be knitting across these stitches on the back needle. So for now, the stitches on the front needle can just be slid down and held on the cord so that they're out of the way. Then I'm going to knit with the other end of this same circular needle. As I work the very first stitch for each sock, I need to make sure of two things. First of all, that I'm knitting with the working yarn, not the tail. And second, as I work that first stitch, I need to wrap the working yarn around the tail so that that first stitch is secure. So I'll go ahead and knit across the sole stitches for one sock. Can let go of that yarn and slide the first sock out of the way. And then I'm going to knit the sole stitches for the second sock. And again, I need to make sure that I'm knitting with the working yarn, not with the yarn tail. And I also need to make sure that the working yarn wraps around the yarn tail when I work that first stitch so that it is secured. So after I finish the sole stitches, I need to rotate so that I can knit across the instep stitches. The sole stitches that I just finished working can slide down to their cord so that they are just held out of the way. I'll knit across the instep stitches so those stitches can be slid up to the needle tip and I want to make sure that I'm knitting with the other end of the same needle. So now I can knit across the instep stitches and just be aware that first stitch that we cast on may be kind of tight and fidgety just because we didn't use a slip knot but it will look nicer later. And when I finish with the first sock, I can slide it down the needle a little bit just so that things are out of my way and don't get tangled up. And then I can knit across the instep stitches of my second sock. And again, don't panic if that first stitch is a little bit tight. At this point, We've completed our first round of both socks. So I'll rotate the socks I just finished knitting can slide down to the center of their cord so that they're held out of the way. The sole stitches that I'm about to knit can slide up to the needle tip. And as I begin the next round, I'll just make sure that I'm knitting with the other end of this same needle. Now, a quick refresher on the make one right and make one left as we begin our first increase round. My first stitch is knit. 
Then we have a make one right. That means I'm going to lift the horizontal bar between the stitches by inserting my left needle from the rear, since I'm doing a make one right. Some people prefer to remember that as I'll be right back. So for a make one right, the needle comes from the back. Since we came from the back, we need to knit around the front leg of the stitch. It can be a little bit tricky to manipulate because things feel kind of tight. I generally like to insert my right needle between those two stitches to kind of open things up and give myself a little space and then rotate and go through the stitch. So I'm knitting around that front leg of the stitch and knit and pull my yarn through. And then I can go ahead and knit across until I get to one stitch before the side of the sock and do my make one left. So for a make one left, my needle comes in from the lead under that horizontal bar, or some people prefer to remember it as I left the front door open so that you come in from the front. Since the needle entered from the front, we're going to twist the lifted stitch by knitting it around the back. So I go through, so I'm knitting around that back leg and pull my stitch through and then knit the final sole stitch. I can slide my work down and then do the same thing for the other sock. When you're knitting socks two at a time, there's one other issue to be aware of. When you knit across one side of your socks and rotate your work so that then you can knit across the other side of your socks, that rotation causes your yarns to twist around each other. Eventually, this twist could become so tight that you can no longer comfortably pull your working yarn from the yarn cake. There are a couple of ways to deal with this twist. One way would be just to stop from time to time and untwist your yarns. The other way is more preventive. If you alternate and when you work across one side, you rotate your work one direction and then work across the other side of the sock and you rotate your work in the opposite direction, your yarns will never twist around each other and you can completely avoid having a tangled mess. I hope you enjoyed today's Double Feature Socks lesson on knitting the toes of your socks. If you have any questions during the knit along or want to share your progress and cheer on our other knitters, head over to the Makers Mercantile Group on Ravelry and look for the Double Feature Socks KAL discussion thread. Until we stitch again, Happy knitting.